fall has come and the fall vegetables and the winter vegetables are so great their colors are like the rainbow and the way that they will prepare us for the cold winter the winter is coming and the natural gas prices are so high lean more to our vegetables this year even more every year in autumn time i have this feeling that i need to eat more vegetables sometimes some of the way we eat our veggies are kind of boring but today i'm going to show you some refika ways some turkish ways some oriental ways the way you use these veggies are going to be a little different and the way they taste would be gorgeous first we start with the idea of iskender the iskender is like doner meat gyro meat underneath there would be like small pieces of some crunchy bread and on the side some yogurt with a tomato sauce on top so we get this idea and instead of making it with meat we're gonna use some leeks we're gonna roughly chop them put them on a heat with a bit of olive oil and some garlic and we're gonna stir fry them for four to five minutes not so long it's gonna still be crunchy but very tasty on the side we're gonna prepare a yogurt with a bit of garlic garlic and yogurt gives an incredible taste on the other side we're gonna put some butter and some tomato puree or some tomato paste and a bit of if you like red pepper you can add a bit of water so tomato is gonna do increase all the flavors the flavor of the yogurt it has umami in it the flavor of the leek it's gonna be great so this one dish it's gonna take maximum 10 minutes to prepare on the channel we have done this in a similar way with cauliflower and if you want it to be more meaty you can use some minced meat on top in the cauliflower video i put it here you can see the video and it's great then it becomes more like iskander as well so or on top of the leek you can add some sausages you can add some chicken meat so different variations could be done something like this so this i'm done with cauliflower and leek but you can do this with pumpkin you can do it with beetroot you can do it with sweet potatoes anything would do one of the easiest way of using all the veggies in your drawer to finish them in turkey i think it's out of five or six days a week in the winter time we eat soup we start the meal with soup so we know how to make our soups guys when we make the soup for example we have big pumpkins here you can use this kind of pumpkin or you can use a squash some kind of pumpkin goes inside if you want some carrots onion to change the to balance the taste some ginger the ginger makes the whole story different a lot of ginger maybe as big as a walnut a ginger would get in and it will change the whole story if it's very leafy you slice it and take it out at the last minute before you have the grinding some garlic a lot of garlic you put everything to a pressure cooker or a normal thing and when it gets really soft here we go and we have this great soup but you want okay Rifika, these are all root vegetables i want to eat more green now what we do roughly chop a chard spinach it could be and then if you like it a bit crunchy put the chard in boil it for several minutes and then we're also gonna have chard inside it's gonna be great if you want it to be more fulfilling as a main course you can even add broad beans black eyed peas any kind of peas would can get in including chickpeas then it would be a course then a, like a starter like a soup so all really well if you want to increase the calories or always a cream would go to a lot of ways but you really don't need it if you want to be again more fulfilling in terms of carbohydrates you can add a bit more potatoes and that would also be incredible these winter vegetables carry in themselves a lot of starch and a lot of starch means when it goes to baking or frying sweetness so we cut them dice them really well and then when we put them into frying it turns brown like the miller reaction in a meat the taste increases tremendously and how are we gonna do it? let's we can use again pumpkin some carrots if you like some purple carrots that we like or we can use beetroot something i can never give up when i do an old thing is onions white onion or red onion red onion also looks great and some for greenness a broccoli brussels sprouts all good we dice them and put them in shapes the idea is if for example pumpkin is harder to cook but broccoli is easier to cook what we do we leave the broccoli in a bigger piece dice the pumpkin in a smaller piece so that 
while it's cooking that they will almost cook at the same time also to increase the taste we have this magical thing with which bahar loves olive oil a bit of sumac maybe some garlic red pepper black pepper some salt this mixture is in itself great if you have for example molasses if you if not some balsamic vinegar also would be good it also increases the sweetness and the sourness at the same time. And we mix all these vegetables together. We mix all these with the oil and vinegar and sweetness, bitterness, all the taste. They look great. I do not like minced garlic very much, but in big pieces, the garlic might burn. So if you're not really happy about the way you mince your garlic, you can like put it and then go through a sieve or something. If garlic is in big pieces, it will burn and it will have this bitter taste. We don't like it. That's really important while we're doing this. So, we put them in the oven. When the vegetables are in the oven, if it takes longer, it gets drier. We don't want that. So, we want it to be on the grill. The grill should be at the highest point. We put them and it starts to brown and we toss them and we finish it as soon as possible. So, this way we have the brown room outside and very nice creamy texture at inside. That's what we want. So basically that's how we cook it. Now these days I'm a big fan of air fryers. I don't know if you want to learn more about air fryers. I can make an air fryer video in Turkey. I have became like the air fryer queen. I really do a lot of things. I go crazy with air fryer. If you want to, if you're interested, please write it down so I can tell whatever I know about air fryers here. Okay, so we eat this either plain or we mix some yogurt and maybe tahini at the same time and eat it that way as well. But plain is very nice. Ha! Huh, one thing I forgot about this is I want even a little more carbohydrates and I want to feel full. This, I have a small tip for you. While we're making this, put up like half a glass of bulgur and on top of some hot water, close the top. When you soak it in that hot water, the bulgur will drink it and it's gonna grow big. It will be already cooked. But the bulgur will, should be the smallest one that you can find. If you go to Turkish markets, it's comfortatic bulgur or finely grounded bulgur. And then we mix the recipe with bulgur and all these veggies at the same time and it grows more. You can use quinoa if you like. And then some greatness of fall and winter is what is the best thing? It's pomegranate. So we can have like it's small pops of like ketchup kind of thing, even better. And some pumpkin seeds as well, the greens of the pumpkin seeds and the pomegranates. If you want to turn it to more like a salad, you can add some rockets as well. That's also good. At the third recipe, I wanted a little break. Got my tea, add my small chocolate baklava. And it was so good. I want to talk about the tea glass that we have designed together with Bahar and another sculptor called Tan Marita. I love drinking tea, but in Turkey, we drink our tea in small glasses. When you work hard, when you are concentrated on work, you just like cannot go up and down and fill that tea glass. So I was drinking tea in glasses like this. But what we like is we like having our hands around the belly of the tea glass we want to see the color and we want to feel the heat and it's so good. And this shape actually keeps the tea hot for a really long time, which is like until 30 minutes to 40 minutes, my tea is still hot and I can still drink it. So, so good. But if I fill this to halfway and the tea is hot, I can't drink it for 10 minutes because what happens, it gets clouded here and that cloud keeps the, the water from evaporating and keeping the tea even hotter but around this because it's like white this white side evaporates and it gets cooler faster oh and now we have nice tea and glass bottoms like this from some old turkish chini where can we get the glasses we can get the glasses from etsy or amazon links are below so i wanted to tell you about how we designed it and how many years now bahar five Six, five to six years. We love it and we even drink whiskey in here. We have done actually on the channel in several different ways. And it's the yogurt meze. We have done this with carrots. We have done this with beetroot. We have done this with zucchini and we have done it with purple carrots in different variations. We have the video here. Please look at it. Today I wanted to make a little different ingredients. We grate the celeriac. We grate the carrots, we put them with a bit of olive oil on the pan, two to three minutes. The excess water evaporates 
and on the side once they start to grow remove it from the stove cool a while meanwhile some garlic some yogurt we mix it all well some tahini we'll see chopping some apples normally i don't like apples a lot but in this it has this other extreme to celeriac sweet crunchiness in another way so they combine so well actually some people also put chicken inside and it's very nice and if you like some tahini to balance the yogurt taste so good so great so something like this this yogurt is another technique and uh for example the carrot normally i can eat one carrot but i can eat a whole bowl of this carrot yogurt thing and it's one of the best most popular mezes in turkey right now a stir fry is always great we have another video of making stir fries i think it's a beautiful video for example you prepare like stir fries in veggies in jars and you use it for the whole week and you eat a lot of veggies that's one way and the video is here but using these winter veggies i want to make something different and this time i want to use something that i don't use a lot sujuk sujuk we also have the sujuk recipe here you can use sausages you can use some minced meat all good we slice the sujuk fry it a bit the oil will stay we take the sujuks off and then pumpkins in we fry the pumpkin in that sujuk oil and with all the herbs of the sujuk inside gets to the pumpkin we take the pumpkin out then put the purple carrots if you don't have purple carrots you can use beetroot or you can use red cabbage or purple cabbage you put some onions in you fry those onions but the purple ones give color especially beetroot we take it out then we put some red peppers we fry it and through the end we put some broccoli in big chunks we start fry them as well and then we add everything back and it becomes holy great stir fry and what you can do another thing if you want to enlarge the thing you can have a noodle kind of thing and add it to the stir fry or you have stale bread at the side cut the stale bread a bit of garlic and a bit of dried mint add a bit of water and all that water uh, clean the pan because it's a stir fry they will soak that water and put the bread at the bottom and then the stir fried vegetables and some lumps of yogurt gets in and it becomes a heavenly thing so five different ways i hope you enjoyed our five different ways if you enjoyed this kind of series if you want something like that please write them down as well i've missed you guys so much uh, i missed making videos for you guys hope you like this uh, one uh, and love you so much if you haven't liked the video please like if you haven't subscribed please do take care